and welcome back to Badminton Insight. I'm Jenny, we have Greg currently behind the camera and we're both international badminton players trying to help you improve your game. Now in today's video for beginners, we're going to show you three how-to exercises of how you can improve your racket skills from home. Now exercise number one is how you can pick up the shuttle from the floor. Exercise number two is how to change your grips quickly. And exercise number three is how you can improve your racket control. So let's get to it. Firstly, we're going to look at how to pick up the shuttle from the floor. As well as saving us energy from having to pick up the shuttle off the floor with our hand every time, oh. Oh. it also includes transferable skills such as racket control. Now we're going to break this down into four stages. Stage one is having a loose backhand grip like Greg showed in the first video. Stage two, we want to start in our loose backhand grip with the strings facing the walls, as you can see here. And as you squeeze the fingers, you want to rotate the strings and the racket so that the strings end up facing the ceiling. And so our thumb is on the top of the, on top of the grip. And this is the motion that we'll use when we're picking up the shuttle from the floor. Stage three. When we're picking up the shuttle from the floor, we want to make sure that the shuttle is in line with the racket head. So when we're picking it up, we want it to look like this or like this. Trying to pick it up with the shuttle like this or even like this will make it much more difficult. Stage four, you want the racket handle to be almost in line with the racket head like this. And putting all these stages together, you want to have the, the loose grip and that squeezing motion to scoop up the shuttle. Now, if you don't have any shuttles at home, you can also practice this using a pair of socks. It's really important to remember when doing this that we have our racket almost horizontal to the floor and not vertical, and that's a really common pitfall that we see. Secondly, we're going to look at how to change our grip quickly when killing at the net. Now, we're going to strip this back to the basics and not use a shuttle, as that's sometimes the best thing to do when learning a new technique. I'm currently doing this to try and learn the stop drop. So to start, we'll just quickly recap our simple backhand and forehand grip. The backhand grip I've gone over in our first ever video using a frying pan and the thumb. And the forehand grip is easily explained by shaking someone's hand and then pulling it out, keeping that shape and putting that directly on the racket. Like so. Starting in our forehand grip, we're going to get into an ideal neck killing position there, and then we're going to transfer into our backhand grip using our fingers and thumb, and then we're going to go back, speeding this up as you get used to it, using your fingers and thumb, nice and relaxed. I often see lots of players going into their backhand side with a forehand grip and trying to kill it with a forehand in a forehand grip. So a lot of the time it would be more effective in a backhand grip as we have more control. So when looking at a hit in action, we have three key points for you guys. Firstly, we're gonna have the elbow out in front of us with the racket nice and high. Secondly, we're gonna have short swings, okay? So generating those short swings from our fingers and thumbs to take the shuttle earlier and not let it drop below tape so we can't kill it. And lastly, you might have noticed my hand is quite high up on my grip, so we're gonna have this short grip at the front of the court because it's a short lever which generates more control. The third thing we're gonna go through is how to improve your racket control. Now, we're gonna do this by hitting the shuttle up to ourselves with short swings using the fingers and foot. Now, hopefully this is gonna improve your feeling of the shuttle on the racket. The higher you hit up, the easier it is. So if you want to challenge yourself, don't hit it as high and you can experiment with that. Also, if you want a challenge, you can go from your backhand to your forehand. So, I like that. The more you do it, the more comfortable you will get with it. So we can do the short swings. Anyway, that concludes our video today. Thank you for watching. 
We hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a like and definitely go and subscribe.